Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to this Epic Gamer video. So I'm sure many of you guys are aware of WoW players that have taken things to the extreme. However, there are some WoW players that have done things truly amazing, or have taken things a little too far. In this video, we'll be taking a look at five WoW records that will never be broken. So let's get right into it. Starting off this video is Factionless Max Level. So, as we all know, from the beginning of WoW's history, you have to choose your faction, either the Horde or the Alliance. This has been the case since Vanilla WoW, but in Mists of Pandaria, there was the Pandaren race who started off the game factionless. In the starting zone for the Pandaren, you reach the end of the questline where you are forced to choose between playing as Alliance or Horde. Blizzard obviously intended for you to inevitably leave the Pandaren starting zone at about level 10. However, a player named Neutral Agent had other ideas. He decided to make the most out of his character without ever leaving the Wandering Isle. He's been playing for over 8 years, leveling up his character by picking mining and herbalism nodes to gain small amounts of experience to level his character up. It's worth mentioning that the XP you get from mining Copper Ore and Peace Bloom is minuscule relative to XP needed to level up near the level cap. In fact, near the end of the level cap, he was getting 20 experience per herbalism or mining node picked. To simply go from level 119 to 120, you would need about 1 million experience. Not counting all the levels before that, however, Neutral Agent managed to do the impossible, and on 2018, October 27th, he reached the level cap of 120 without joining the Horde or Alliance. In fact, he makes a tradition of streaming his leveling process to the new level cap with each new expansion. Blizzard recognized the streamer's insane dedication to staying neutral that they even made him an NPC. You can find the NPC called Venerable Shaman in the Monk class hall running around the zone mining ore and picking herbs. But considering the long hours he put in accomplishing this crazy feat, I don't think anybody will be trying this challenge anytime soon. Raiding during an earthquake. So I'm sure many of you have been playing WoW during some more times when you felt sleepy, sick, or whatever, and maybe you felt hardcore. However, in this circumstance, a WoW player took his dedication to a game to a whole new level. A WoW player named Rio Sierra was caught raiding during the Legion World of Warcraft expansion. His guild was fighting a really tough boss that they hadn't beaten yet called Odin. During the fight against Odin, this WoW player starts experiencing an earthquake in real life. Despite his room literally shaken and being flung out of his chair, he still tries to play WoW and help his guild take down the boss. He manages to ignore the earthquake, but it got to the point where he couldn't play and his character in-game dies due to the AoE damage in-game. I think it's pretty amazing that the earth itself is literally shaking and the foundations of your house are moving, but you are still committed to maintaining your DPS. It's quite dedicated, especially considering that this was apparently a 7.8 earthquake in magnitude, which by the way is very, very big and above average. It sounds like an excuse for messing up, but it really did happen. Luckily enough, he came out of it okay and nothing bad happened to Rio. Collecting all plate transmog. So transmog in World of Warcraft is a big deal, and a lot of players have dedicated their playtime in WoW to collecting things like pets, mounts, and of course transmog. However, transmog in WoW is so vast, there are so many expansions, many quest items, many gear pieces that can provide a different model for your character to wear. A WoW streamer by the name of Desmus Fisto has been playing WoW and doing some charity streams. One goal he set for himself was to collect all the transmog for his class, in particular plate transmog. Now any transmog collectors watching this will know how insane that goal really is, as in World of Warcraft there are 11,697 plate transmog appearances to collect. That's a tremendous amount of grinding, questing, mob farming, and raiding collect all these appearances, however Desmus Fisto managed to do it. The final piece of equipment he needed was the Crimson Carapace leg plates, which has a small chance of dropping from a Warlords of Draenor Garrison weekly quest. This required over 100 attempts, however he finally did it on stream, collecting the final piece of plate transmog. BAM! OH MY GOD! OH MY GOD! Oh! <laughs> Most viewed WoW video. So on World of Warcraft, there are a lot of different content creators on YouTube and Twitch. However, what I ask you, which YouTube video about WoW has had the most views? Some people may assume it would be a trailer or an expansion or something. However, those who played back in the day will know it belongs to Leroy Jenkins. 
For anybody who doesn't know, Leroy Jenkins was a famous World of Warcraft clip on the internet that transcended the game and became part of mainstream internet culture. In the early days of Vanilla 2005, a WoW player named Leroy Jenkins made a video where his guild is discussing strategy of how to beat a boss in the dungeon, when Leroy charges in and aggroes all the mobs in the room forcing his guild to fight, which, of course, leads to a wipe. This clip is classic, however, one point it had was over 40 million views on YouTube. Unfortunately, the video was either taken down or the channel got deleted, but it's crazy to think that this meme became the biggest WoW video or even one of the biggest gaming videos of all time. There are of course re-uploads of this video with tens of millions of views, but the original was definitely the most viewed video about WoW, which is pretty cool. Let's get them down fast because we're bringing all these guys, I mean, we'll be in trouble if we don't take them down quick. Uh, I think it's a pretty good plan, and we should be able to pull it off this time. Thumbs up. Ready, guys? Let's or... do this. Leroy Jenkins! Oh my god, he just ran in. Oh my god. The orbs keep spawning. Can't can't more can't spawning. Can't... I don't think you can cast with that shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. World first level 60. So Vanilla WoW was way back in the day. In fact, it was released as early as 2004. Back then, a lot of people approached World of Warcraft, and the gaming scene in general was very different. For this reason, it's unclear who got the world's first level 60 back in the day of vanilla, however, a hunter by the name of Joanna owned the record for the fastest level 60 of 4 days, 20 hours, and 52 minutes on your slash played. This back in the day was very impressive, however, when Blizzard released Classic WoW in 2019, the WoW community had a significant amount more knowledge and experience playing the game. One player named Joker D set out the task of reaching level 60 in Classic WoW before anyone else. This was seen as a big competition with old school WoW players and several noteworthy players and guilds including Method attempted to get the world first level 60 during the launch period of Classic WoW. Joker D was a relatively unknown player and was streaming a speedrun to get 60 the first. Unlike conventional wisdom back in the day, he opted to play as a mage instead of a hunter, which was previously thought to be the fastest levelers. Mages in Classic have tremendous AoE damage potential with spells like Blizzard and crowd controlling abilities like Frost Nova, which allowed them to level significantly faster than other classes. Joker D was grinding out levels on his no mage, taking advantage of the mage's OP AoE farming abilities. Joker D grinded his way to level 60 and basically never slept the four days. Only sleeping a handful of hours, he reached level 60 with a slash played of 3 days, 20 hours, and 40 minutes. A significant accomplishment considering the second closest to Joker D was a level 56. It even got to the point where 300,000 people were watching this event take place live. Think about that, 300,000 Ninja and Tifu don't even get those numbers combined. This is a record that can never be broken. However, if when the Burning Crusade expansion comes out, it will be interesting to see the WoW community compete for the world's first 70. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more WoW videos like this in the future. This is Epic Gamer, signing out.